if we wanted to open a page in a new tab so I want to keep the this site visible without having to keep going back a page and forward a page I can open a, a link in a new tab so so we wanted to open this site and hold that down instead of double tapping it to open it and elect to open that in a new tab that story opens and I have the, the choice to go back to to the main site back to the tab so that every time I see something that is a uh, useful that I can that I want to read I can hold it down instead of double tapping it and maybe add it to the reading list this time and up there is the is that is that website in the bookmarks turn that off if uh, some of the text is a little bit small you can pinch and zoom to make it bigger and then back again double tap will also zoom it up double tap will take it back again um, if uh, it was a particular page that you liked that you wanted to go back to again so say it was the website that we're using for this class and I'll do a search for it technology fueled and do a search and it's not coming up with the one I want so technology fuel I'm going to search for that one instead that's the one I want Snet's life home so when you find a website that you go to a lot or you want to be able to find it quickly you can add it to your home screen so holding the uh, tapping the action button uh, I could send this page to the reading list I could add a bookmark I could mail an, a, an email to this page to somebody else to, to tell them how how I found it and what it's about or I can add it to my home screen you can give it a name and at the moment I'm happy to leave it like that or she could use the cross there and delete it put a new one in and just tap add and now that page and I'd already done it before is here so when I tap on that back on the home screen it'll open it up immediately um, bookmarks bookmark button is here when you uh, have a site you like and I'll just go back to uh, and I'm using the back button here to get back to where I was in net 9 MSN can keep going back and eventually I'll get back to that story that's the advantage of opening up sites in a new tab you don't have to keep going backwards um, but if I wanted to add this page as a bookmark then holding the action button I can add a bookmark uh, I have the choice there to rename it so in this case I, I will rename it and and call it 9 MSN main page something that I think is more useful for me underneath that you see the URL the address for that one and it's you have a choice of where to put this bookmark you can put it into the bookmarks bar in which case it will always be visible uh, on the top of your page or I can just put it into the bookmarks normal bookmarks and it's indicated there that it'll just go into the the big collection of bookmarks that I have when you tap the bookmarks bar and I just put it into bookmarks but I have a lot of bookmarks so it could be anywhere along here it's probably going to be the last one I did 9 MSN there it is now if I want to move that up to the top of my bookmarks I can go to edit and find it and it's sitting there and then the handles here the drag handles will allow me to move that up to the top in this case and drop it I want it to be the first one and then hit done so now my bookmark 9msn main page is the first bookmark I see when I tap bookmarks if you have a lot of bookmarks as I do and they're disorganized and there are a lot of them then you have the option to put them into folders now I have a couple of folders there but I haven't been consistent in putting all my bookmarks into folders the last bookmark I did the MSN news which was this one and there's probably some other sites in there as well would be better off maybe perhaps putting them into a, a folder called news 
So to add a folder, you tap the bookmarks bar to get it back, edit, and there is a, a, a tab there for new folder. So I'm going to call my folder news and I want that folder to go into the bookmarks section and tap done. And there's the folder and then tap done again. The folder is here. There's nothing in it at the moment. When you uh, tap the folder, you can see the right pointing arrow. There's nothing in that bookmarks folder. There's something in that in the uh, volunteering folder. There's a couple of sites. And there's a whole lot in my Mac folder. But what I'd like to do is put the MSN uh, site that I've just bookmarked into that news folder. And I have not found any way of doing that after the fact. So I can hold on that, but I cannot drag it into the news folder. If I edit and use the drag handles and take that site, I can't put it into the folder either. Uh, really what I need to do is delete that bookmark, get out of the bookmarks, and put this, this site back in again. So I'm on the 9 MSN site. I want to put that into my news folder. I can hit the action button, add a bookmark, and rename it so that it's just a little bit more succinct. 9 MSN news. And instead of saving it immediately because it's going into the bookmarks general folder, which is what I've been tending to do, what I need to do is find that folder for news. Now all the folders that I have under bookmarks are, are going to come up here and I've just got to look for the news one. So that's the folder I want it to go in. You can see in the bottom there that it's going into that folder. Tap the save and that bookmark is now in, in the news folder. So it's a check. Let's go back to bookmarks. Tap news and there's the, the bookmark and I can open it from there. And unfortunately if you've been a bit disorganized like I have, the only way to do this is to tediously go through each one of them, create some folders and using the edit, drag them in. The red circle will delete a bookmark, so as soon as you do edit, the red circle will come up in a, in a, um, with, a with a minus sign. When you tap one, you have the option to delete it. If you make a mistake, just tap that again and click done to get out of the, the bookmarks. Uh, the only other thing we haven't really talked about is some of the controls on the very top. The uh, left arrow will take you back, a, back a page, and if you keep pressing the left arrow, it's just going to keep taking you back through all the pages you've had open. As with the uh, right facing arrow, will take you forwards. If you want to reload a page in the address bar on the extreme right, there is a little triangle, a little arrow pointing to the right and you tap that, that will reload the page, the current page that you're on. If you want to see where you've been in your browsing session under bookmarks I think it's in, there is history and that will, will show you all of your searches that you've been to, all of the pages that you've been to and it gives you the first well, three or six, seven here and then earlier today it can go through everything you've actually been to, all the pages. So if you are forgot where what that page was and you haven't saved it, you can go back through your history and find it again. Um, Safari is a, is a reasonable browser. I, I have found other browsers in the App Store that are working a little better and at the moment I'm using iCab Mobile because it has more options. It allows you to download videos directly to your um, Photos app. There's a lot more it can do. Safari comes with the iPad. It's not a bad browser, but have a look through the App Store at other browsers. That's all for now.